While bananas are not native to Costa Rica, many wild animals have adapted to feed on them since their introduction some 500 years ago. There are some 10 species of nectar-feeding bats in Costa Rica, including the long-tongued bats of the genus Glossophaga. They are small, measuring about 5 centimeters, and weighing only about 10 grams. Their pointed nose, their long tongue with a brush-like tip, and no incisor teeth are all adaptations for nectar feeding. But they do also feed on fruit, and they tend to feed on nectar and pollen in the dry season, and then switch over to fruit and insects in the wet season. They are very plastic in their feeding behavior, in that if another species in the area is feeding on the available nectar, it can switch to feed on the fruit. These nectar bats are important pollinators in most habitats of Costa Rica. Since it's not trying to catch fast-flying mosquitoes in the dark, its echolocation ability is reduced, so its leaf-like nose that emits the echolocation sounds is definitely smaller. The ears aren't very big either. Here a baby hangs alone waiting for mommy. Two young are born every year, one in March to May and another again from September to November. She grabs onto mother both for some milk and thrilling rides through the rainforest. Long-tongued bats roost in caves, tunnels, and old buildings. Here, two are sharing a good spot with a short-tailed bat. One special adaptation of nectar bats is their ability to hover, just like hummingbirds. Bats pump the nectar up and don't move their tongue like hummingbirds do. Now see where the level of nectar is? Now, see how much less there is. The poor bird doesn't even know that it's drinking bat cooties 